As the sun rose over the quiet village in Thailand, I woke up with the smell of a home-cooked meal. My father made a tasty Hmong style chicken soup from a couple of his fresh chicken he'd raised, along with boiled vegetables and Hmong peppers, all from his garden. This wasn't just a breakfast; it was the most heartfelt meal I ever had. In Hmong, we call this dish "gai gai hao." Since my arrival, I have enjoyed some of the finest Thai dishes, but nothing compares to this simple breakfast with my family. Especially with my father, the flavor were rich and comforting, but it was the love and effort behind the meal that made it unforgettable. As I sat there enjoying each bite, I knew this moment would stay with me forever. It wasn't just about the food; it was about reconnecting with my roots and feeling the warmth of family. I'll never forget this meal and the deep sense of belonging it gave me. Having breakfast at my desk and, and breakfast is consists of boiled chicken and. Oh, boiled yeah, herb. You c o v e r it, y e a Show you guys. Come on, Dana. This is my father. Hi, Bo. Jo Ho. What's up? As soon as we finished breakfast, my wife and I was getting ready for the day when I suddenly heard gongs ringing in the background. At first, I thought it was from the neighborhood, but it sounded closer. Then I realized it was coming from the other room. It was my father performing a ritual. He is a well-known shaman in his village. This ritual is called h u b l i soul calling. Its purpose is to ensure our souls return to our bodies so we don't get sick during our travels. In our culture, we believe that when you travel far, your soul might wander off, potentially making you sick. Additionally, when visiting close family, they will perform a ritual to bring your soul closer to the family. I think it's just a father's way of showing he cares and worry about his children. This video is sponsored by Lotus Kitchen, located in Fresno, California. Here you can enjoy a special mix of Vietnamese, Lao, Thai, and Cajun dishes. Come taste the unique flavors that makes this place special. At Lotus Kitchen, every dish has its own story. After he finished his spirit calling ritual, my father said, "Get on the bike, son. You and your friend, let's go join a family down the road. They're having an event too, and they want to meet you." Off we went on the bike, all three of us. Maybe I was just too happy, but this short bike ride felt special to me. It felt personal. I can hear the pride in my father's voice as he talked. I know if I live here, he would have taken me everywhere with him. During this short two-minute ride. He talked about how he came up with my maturity name, Baylao. We attended an event hosted by one of my father's nephew and sat at the table as they proceed with the traditional thanks and bowing. Quietly observing my father, it became clear how much I resemble him. He seemed so happy to have me there, almost as if he was proudly showing me off to his relative and friends. Overhearing him tell an elder, "This is my Hmong American son. Can't you tell how tall he is? You can tell they only drink American milk." Brought laughter to us all. His actions were marked by a calm grace and a quiet strength that I deeply admired. This moment, this connection, and the chance to see my father and his element are memories to cherish forever.
Did you know that this place is one of Fresno's top Southeast Asian cuisine, decorated with awards and community recognition? They are not just famous for their Thai bowl, pho, papaya salad, and express hot food, but they are also known for their popular Chinese and Thai dishes. When you're craving for a fusion of Lao Thai and Chinese flavor, La Kitchen is the place to be in Fresno. And just like that, we are back at my father's place to prepare for our hand tying ceremony. He invited a small group of relatives to join us. <laughs> Yeah, Yonche Ah Do Oh, <laughs> 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 
I've learned so much from this short trip. I have realized that some family fight and never forgive each other, becoming strangers. And there's others yawning for family love that they may never receive. Some wait too long to apologize, only to find it's too late. And there are those who would give anything to see a loved one again, knowing it would never happen. We must cherish the happy moments with our loved ones because we never know when it will be the last time we see each other. Life is unpredictable and time passes quickly. Each interaction may be more significant than you realize. Take the time to create memories, share laughter, express your love and appreciation. These moments become cherished memories that you will hold on to forever. Reminding you of the bonds you share and the joy you brought to each other's life. Dr. Seuss once said, Sometimes you will never know the value of a moment until it becomes a memory. The next morning, we all got up early as my wife and I prepared to leave my father's village. I could sense the emotional wave surrounding everyone. During our final meal together, my father spoke to me and Mong. His words were simple but they carry the weight of years of sadness from being apart from his sons and the pain of lost time. He said, My son, I understand we are separated by oceans and I may never get to see the country you call home, but having you here with me brings me happiness. If you can, please come back every year, for time may be slipping away faster than we realize. With each passing day, I grow older and my health weakens. I have lost half of my hearing along the way. Yet, in your presence, all my worry fades into the background, replaced by sheer joy and happiness. I may not have much to offer you and your siblings anymore, and material possessions hold little importance to me now. All I truly desire is the gift of your company, of sheer laughter and heartfelt conversation. Please don't worry about me asking for money. I am content with what I have. What matters most to me is the chance to create cherished memories with my children, before my time on this earth ends. His words were like a gentle hug, reminding me to treasure every moment with my loved ones. It was a powerful lesson about the importance of family and making memories that will last a lifetime. I told him again, as during our first meeting, that everything possible will be done to rebuild our relationship and straighten our bond. Setting an example for my sibling is important and visit will be made often as possible. Though I'm not the perfect son, the love for him is unmatched. I hope you all learned something from this journey back to visit my biological father. Let's take a moment to appreciate the time we have with our loved ones. Life is fleeting, and the moments we share with our family are the most precious of all. Thank you for joining me on this journey. Stay tuned for our next Thailand tour video coming next week. Special thanks to my wonderful sponsors for making this trip possible. Don't forget to help my channel grow by subscribing, liking, and sharing with your loved ones. Take care. All the best. Shinji Dua. <laughs>「We're leaving my dad's and mom's place in, in Chinkan well in uh, Payao we are leaving father's house